We have entered a new phase in our war against Hamas. Hamas broke the humanitarian pause when it violated the hostage release agreement by refusing to release women, children, and babies as agreed. Hamas also fired rockets at Israeli homes. It should be clear to everyone by now, Hamas chooses war. Hamas chose war when it broke the hostage release agreement on December 1st. Hamas chose war when it massacred our people on October 7th. It has been eight weeks since October 7th and Hamas is still holding 137 of our people hostage, babies, the elderly, women and men. Hamas does not value human life, Israeli or Palestinian. Hamas is willing to sacrifice its own people to advance its genocidal agenda. As we expand our operation in Gaza, we remain committed to our goals, secure the release of our hostages and dismantle Hamas. We will operate as we have done until now, according to international law. We will operate as we have done until now against Hamas centers of gravity. We pursued them in northern Gaza. We're now pursuing Hamas in southern Gaza too. We will operate in maximum force against Hamas terrorists and infrastructures while minimizing harm to the civilian that Hamas places around them as shields. Our forces used the seven-day pause before the Hamas violation to increase readiness, review intelligence, and refine operational procedures. We are implementing lessons learned for the new phase of this war, improving the efficiency and the precision of our operations on the ground. We are pursuing Hamas wherever Hamas is hiding, in the north and in the south. Every rocket launcher, weapons depot, command and control center, senior commander, underground infrastructure, and any hideout where our hostages may be held. Our war is against Hamas, not against the people of Gaza. Hamas deliberately embeds himself within civilian population centers so that the Gazans will bear the consequences of Hamas atrocities. Every civilian death is a tragedy, a tragedy that the IDF does not want and is taking extensive measures to avoid. While Hamas terrorists hide behind civilians, Israel does its best to distinguish between civilians and terrorists. We are giving precise instructions to Gazan residents near Hamas centers of gravity, urging them to temporarily move away from the danger that Hamas puts them in. We're dropping leaflets with QR codes that opens a map guiding Gazans to safer areas. The map is divided into neighborhood numbers indicating where civilians in a specific area should go to avoid being in the crossfire. We call on international organizations in Gaza to assist us with this effort. It can help save lives. We also call on international organizations to ensure that the Red Cross gains access to our hostages in Hamas captivity. 137 hostages are being held in inhumane and brutal conditions, and not one international organization has seen them. The more we hear about the cruel conditions in Hamas captivity, the more urgent our mission, our global mission to rescue our hostages becomes.